Hey everyone, I just got finished a really good jump rope workout. I did about 10 minutes of freestyle skipping and then afterwards I put on some 1.5 kilo ankle weights and I did a double under slash decline push up circuit. Uh, my aim was to do 10 sets of 10. So basically 10 double unders followed immediately by 10 decline push ups and repeat that 10 times for a total of 100 double unders and uh, 100 decline push ups. Um, I think I threw in a few extra sets because I lost count along the way. I'll have to check out the footage now and uh, find out. And then uh, afterwards, I took off the ankle weights and I did uh, 50 double unders to finish the workout. It was a really fantastic workout. The combination of double unders plus decline push-ups really targets the shoulders, the arms, and the upper chest. And the ankle weights add some resistance when you're doing the uh, double unders. Um, you'll notice when I was doing the decline push-ups, I wasn't lowering my body past uh, 90 degrees at the arm elbow joint. Sometimes I find that if you go too low, you can put a little bit too much strain on your shoulders. And I also wasn't raising myself up to uh, full extension. I was raising myself up to just a little bit below full extension to keep the tension on my chest when I was doing those decline push-ups. Um, so it's a really fantastic workout. I highly recommend trying something similar, incorporating jump rope and resistance training into the same workout and repeat them one after another for a few sets. If you're not able to do double unders, you can always do another jump rope move. And if you're not able to do say 10 push-ups, you could try to do less, or you could try to incorporate some other form of resistance training. All right, well, uh, I hope you enjoy this footage and until next time, thanks for watching. Hey again, everyone. Right now it's uh, 11.45 on Monday night. I recorded this video yesterday afternoon. And I was pretty surprised today that my chest and my shoulders were quite sore. When you combine jump rope with resistance training and you do them one after another with very little rest in between and you do that for several sets, it can be quite taxing. It makes both forms of exercise more intense. Um, it can really help you burn a lot of calories and it can just spice up your workouts. Um, I know a lot of people, they like to separate their resistance or body weight training away from cardiovascular activities but there are definitely benefits to combining the two of them together um, for example yeah it can burn a lot of calories as, as i just said there it can make your workouts more interesting and it can be really good for increasing uh, stamina uh, not to mention if i was to do uh, decline push-ups as i'm doing right now if i was to do them without having done jump rope beforehand they'd be a lot easier in the sense that I wouldn't be breathing as hard when I do them. Um, my arms wouldn't be as tired and also my legs and my core wouldn't be as tired. When you jump rope, it causes your arms to get a little bit tired and also kind of fatigues your legs. And when you're doing push-ups, you have to get into the kind of push-up plank position and you need your legs and your core to be fresh to stabilize your body. But because you do jump rope beforehand, it tires those muscles. So just doing the push-ups becomes a little bit more difficult. Um, and as I said there in the intro, after I did, did this double under decline push-up circuit, I took the ankle weights off and I finished with 50 double unders. And I was uh, breathing quite heavily afterwards. So yeah, it was definitely uh, quite an intense workout. As you can see here, I'm taking virtually no rest in between the double unders and push-ups. And I was doing that on purpose just to kind of push myself to try to increase the stamina benefits of the workout and to try to burn a lot of calories. Um, I did this workout on an empty stomach. I uh, woke up pretty late on this particular morning because I was up very late the night before. So I just woke up and I drank a few cups of water and then uh, a few cups of black coffee. Um, the, the, the weather today on this particular day was uh, really sunny. It was the warmest day of the year so far. So it was really nice to get outside and. Uh, get some sunshine, get some uh, vitamin D. Um, I'm looking forward actually to the warmer temperatures. I like exercising outside when it gets uh, quite warm because I sweat a lot. And then after sweating a lot, I love going home and uh, showering because I just feel so fresh afterwards. So jump rope is just such a fantastic form of exercise. It encourages you to get outside, to get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, some vitamin D if it is sunny, um, move your body. I always feel good after uh, jumping rope, phys both physically and mentally. It's such a fantastic form of exercise. A jump rope doesn't cost very much, and you can do it virtually anywhere. There's, there's so many benefits. 
Um, you can get such a full full body workout if you combine jump rope with just a few resistance training exercises like push-ups or pull-ups or squats or planks. Just combine the two and you got an all-around awesome workout. Um, as you can see and as I mentioned there in the intro, I was wearing ankle weights in this workout. Uh, I bought those ankle weights that I'm wearing a few years ago for I think five dollars. Um, so if you've never tried jumping rope with ankle weights, that's something that you could consider to add a, a little bit of, re of resistance to your workouts and to maybe kind of spice up your workouts a little bit. And you don't have to do it all the time. You might just uh, put them on every once in a while just to, uh, as I said, spice things up. Um, I used to watch videos of boxers jump rope and from time to time you'd see certain boxers wear ankle weights. For example, uh, Floyd Mayweather, he, he, would, he would often be seen wearing ankle weights when he jumped rope. And I believe the ankle weights that he wore were 1.5 kilos each, similar to, to the ones that I'm wearing here. Um, and sometimes I often wear the ankle weights on around my wrists to add some more resistance to my arms when I'm spinning the rope. And that can be fantastic for uh, giving your shoulders a great jump rope workout. Um, yeah, so if you've never tried jumping rope with ankle weights, that might be something you want to try doing. Um, if you're a beginner, uh, that might not be advisable, but if you've been jumping rope for quite a while and uh, you're confident in your technique, yeah, you could definitely try doing them. Um, yeah, well, so th this was a great workout, and I highly encourage you to uh, try jumping rope and uh, incorporating resistance training into the same workout and try to do them in a one after another fashion as I've done here. Um, and I think you'll I think you'll quite enjoy it. Okay, so I'll just leave you with the uh, rest of the footage here, and I'll include uh, a little bit of music. All right. Well, I hope you find this uh, video helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.